Hello, this is Anpuff76. Welcome to my video tutorial for Blender Fracture Tools. In order to use Fracture Tools, we need to enable them first. So press Ctrl Alt U to bring user preferences window, and you can find uh, Fracture Tools under Add ons object. So make sure that you select the checkbox for the Fracture Tools and you can save it as default so next time when you will start Blender the Fracture Tools will be enabled for you so you will not have to do that again. Uh, just be careful when you are saving as default because any objects you have on a scene any settings will be saved as default so what I would recommend is to open Blender, enable Fracture Tools and uh, save it as default. Goody! Uh, I think we are ready to start uh, with the fracturing um, just one comment for Blender version I'm using. I'm using 2.62 uh, version and I found a small glitch or bug. Uh, if we would fracture this cube, the default cube, it, we will never get a proper result. Uh, the cube will immediately explode uh, and this is not what I want to do. So my, what I want to do today is I want to have a cube which will fall down and explode when it will hit the ground. Uh, so with the default cube uh, it's it's not possible. I think it's a bug, but we can very easily work around it by simply deleting it and adding another one. So to let's make our life a little bit easier. So press one on the numpad and then five on the uh, numpad to go to the front or the graphic view. And let's I will use this cube as the uh, lower surface and the other cube will fall down and, and hit it. So press S to scale press S Z and point two to scale it on the Z axis. Then press S thirty sorry uh, S X thirty to scale it on the X axis and then S Y thirty to scale it on the Y axis. So this will generate or this will make some some plane like thing. Um, the reason I'm not using plane is that I never get proper results so the the, the shards are getting through the, uh, through the plane so I prefer to use cube as, as my surface. And press shift A to add another cube, press G to move it. You can also press G Z to move it directly on the Z axis. Um, for in this tutorial, I will not go through the materials, textures, and 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 so on. But if I would recommend, mm, or what I would recommend is to uh, set up all of the materials, textures, colors before fracturing uh, to to make the life a little bit easier. Of course, there is a way to do that um, after object will be fractured, but there there are a couple of extra steps which which needs to be done. Um, and I can, if we will have time, then I can. Uh, explain those extra steps. So I think we are ready to fracture the, the cube. So press space and in this search field type fracture. Okay, my typing doesn't work. Here we go. Fra and choose fracture object. And the fracture object menu will show up on the left bar. Uh, on the lower section. In case you don't have this, this object tools bar, then you can press T on a keyboard, so T will expand or collapse the the left bar. Same goes for right bar N collapse or expand it. So settings, <coughs> uh, excuse me, settings of the f the fracture settings are quite they're fairly simple and self-explanatory. Uh, so roughness defines how rough the cuts will be, and I couldn't find any major difference when I was using roughness with the flat or spherical. I think it, it works, uh, the, the roughness uh, defines the rough of the spheri spherical rough or flat rough uh, crack types. So the crack types defines how the uh, how the object will be splitted, what, what, what will be the, uh, or how the split will look like. The number of shards define how many pieces or how, yeah, how many pieces object will be splitted into. The hierarchy is used when you want to fracture a moving object. So the hierarchy um, will 
uh, will generate when you will generate a hierarchy the results will be more realistic and um, an execute simply executes the uh, the whole script and the the object will be uh, will be splitted according to, to settings so let's type our uh, number of shards I want to have 100 just be careful with the amounts uh, or with the number of, of, of shards because this can be quite CPU consuming so if you will type too high number then it can uh, cr crash the blender or um, it can hang for quite a long time so 100 is, is, is fairly okay Mm. I found out that up to 300, this is th it. It works like uh, up to five seconds, so it's still acceptable. Goody. So press execute, and then depends on how fast your computer is, it might take up to a few seconds. And as you can see, my cube is already splitted into some nice shards. If I would press P to play the animation at this point nothing will happen which is okay because we still need to set up the shards so press B and select all of the uh, individual pieces then press space again and type setup and choose setup fracture shards so what do we <coughs> what it does is simply select the proper physics for all of the individual objects so it's it's set it to the rigid body uh, it it gives it a, a certain margin uh, collision type and and stuff like that so and it, it's done uh, at once for all of the objects if i will press p to play the animation now you can see that oh, cube falls down and then explodes uh, we have some nasty results in the middle and I think we can fairly easy quick that. So right click on the lower cube, then choose Blender game, go to Physics tab and select Collision Bounds and specify margin. And I think point 0.1 should work. Here we go. Sometimes you need to adjust the settings like to, to, to use higher margin. What it simply does is do not allow those uh, those shards to get into the object and then behave in this strange way you have seen. So press P to looks looks pretty cool. And I think this is all when it comes to falling cube or a falling object this will work the same steps I have I have shown you uh, I have shown to you will uh, work for any object uh, of course for spherical stuff you should rather go for uh, spherical uh, cards instead of the flat ones um, but you can you can play around and uh, share your re share your results what I want to show in addition is another scenario where we have a cube and then another cube falls down and then both explodes into pieces so we will leave our upper cube as it is and uh, press shift A to on another one and uh, we have to move it to be to we have to move this cube to stay on the top of that one so press G Z 1.2 and I think yet it's it stays on the top of that which is good uh, reason I move the reason I move it for 1.2 is first of all this one was scaled up to 0.2 so uh, I, I don't want to have this cube being inserted into this one because that will uh, set the collision and we will not get the proper results mm, good so hi right click to highlight the, the the cube before we will go to fracture the object um, we need to we need to do some tweaking to the physics so go to the logic editor and from here choose the always sensor choose and and choose edit object and then connect the dots in the edit object choose dynamics and suspend dynamics and then again add collision sensor and
print an edit object and what it will do is simply the physics will be suspended dynamics and then restore dynamics okay so what it what it does it, first of all uh, it the, the physics will be suspended for until the collision will will happen so when the upper cube will get down and hit the lower cube uh, then the physics will be or let's say dynamics will be restored and then uh, the, the the object will be fractured together with the uh, with the uh, upper cube so let's go back to the 3d view and let's press space then fracture fracture object and this is another glitch I found out with with blender uh, the the object was already the script was self executed, so uh, um, in previous version I think I was using 2.6 uh, it didn't happen so the execute wasn't check was it wasn't check on so I had a chance to you know change the settings I still have I still have this possibility I can update it the, the settings and then the cube will be uh, will be fractured uh, uh, again. But if you have choose previously uh, settings which took long to execute, then if we reuse the script, uh, it will take another long time to to execute that. So um, I don't I don't think this is expected that the script will be self executed another time. Uh, but that was offside comment. Uh, goody. So we have to highlight. Uh, we have to select all of the uh, all of the individual shards again. So press B, highlight everything, and then shift, click on the shift and right click on the lower cube and right click on that again. So uh, this this will be deselected. Press space, choose setup, and here we go. If I will press P, and I want to stop it. <laughs> as you as you saw, this 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 lower cube remains. Or let me do that uh, in the other way. Uh, press M to move it to the another layer. I, I press second the second layer. So if I will press P, then this cube will remain stable because there is no collision. Nothing happens with with that cube so uh, it can't explode so let's go back let's move it to layer one so m1 if i will press p to play this then one cube will hit to another one and both will explode here we go pretty cool uh, this can <coughs> this will work with any other object so if uh, we can have a small sphere instead of cube, uh, and the sphere will fall down, and then the the lower cube will be uh, will be will explode. And more, that's all what I wanted to sh to to show. Uh, just one last thing: you, in case you have uh, prepared pretty nice uh, animation, and you want to save it, or let's say you want to. Uh, Replay it in in the three D view in, in in the viewport. You need to record the the physics animation into mm, into the Blender engine. So choose game and choose record animation. And when you will press P, Blender will insert keyframes with this animation. So you could play it uh, when you will be in normal uh, viewport. So press Escape to get out of this mode go to the blender render and then when you will press alt a the animation will will play it so all of the uh, all of the an animation from the um, blender game engine is now saved as the as the normal animation so I think that's all uh, that was my very first tutorial I ever done so uh, Forgive me for any any kind of mistakes, uh, mainly language mistakes. Um, that was, as I mentioned, that was the first time I consider it as nice challenge. But I'm happy I have survived, and I hope that I 
have showed you something uh, and let me know how it, how you let me know if that helped you and let me know if you want me to add uh, anything more to this uh, to this tutorial or to make any any other one so thank you for watching and goodbye